Hello and welcome to the Ellen Made Book Club. Today I wanted to talk about my reading goals. Um, and I know it's not January, but I think, you know, we can set goals any time of year that we want. And I really enjoy watching goals videos and I find it kind of sad that they're only around in January. <laughs> so yeah, here's a goals video for you to enjoy. <laughs> So I've been thinking about these goals for a while and I find that they are constantly, you know, re evolving. I'm revising them and I'm adding to them and, you know, shifting my focus. And I think that's completely fine. And that's just part of the journey. I've also been thinking a little bit about, you know, numbers versus softer goals. And I'm definitely leaning more toward the softer um, you know, qualitative goals, but I do want to talk a little bit about numbers as well. So I have four main goals, like overarching goals, which is try new things, um, challenge myself, grow as a person and have fun. Yeah, <laughs> those things are fun to me, you know, in, in moderation and in like a fun way. Okay, so let's just start with numbers and kind of get that out of the way um, because that's not the most important thing to me, but I do think it's like an interesting sort of reference point to have. I did set a like Goodreads goal for the year at the start of the year and I set 10 books for this year. Like if I read 10 books this year, I'm going to be happy. Um, and I've already passed that now in April. Um, or like March or whatever um, so like that's good but it doesn't really mean anything to me that I <laughs> read a specific number of books but it does mean that I'm reading more which is what I want to do so like I don't think it's completely pointless to have a number goal um, I just don't want that to be my main focus and it's not something that I want to like rush toward or like you know feel stress as I'm reading to finish books just so that I can finish a certain number of books that year um, and I don't want to sh choose shorter books just because they're an easier way to reach that numbers goal you know what I mean like if I'm reading at this rate and I'm reading about 10 books in a quarter like in three months then you know okay so let's say 40 books 30 books if I can read 30 books this year, that would be fantastic. For the fun of it, let's just say 40 books for the year, okay? Whatever. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the things that do matter to me. <laughs> like I said, I want to try new things and challenge myself and grow as a person and have fun. And all of those things I think would be accomplished um, by trying some new genres, you know, dip my toe into memoirs and biographies a little bit more. Um, not just any kind of memoirs or biographies, but like I want to find which ones I like. Um, and the same goes for nonfiction books um, about either like climate change or, you know, environmental issues or social issues or psychology or relationships and you know that kind of thing or like the memoir that i'm reading right now which is sociopath by patrick gangney which i've mentioned a couple of times already um and the way that that book is written is it's a personal story obviously but it's also very educational and informational about sociopathy and i'm i learn a lot um reading a book like that and it's it's non-fiction but it's still a story and it's very like yeah it's 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 shaped in a ball that i like very much <laughs> so i just want to find those types of books that you know scratches that itch in the in the right way i also want to try reading short story collections um i have been picking a few up um this is between the assassinations by aravind adiga um, which is set in India. Um, Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo, um, which is about different women um, of color. This is Doris Lessing, The Grandmothers, about the human condition. 
Um, and then this is White Cat Black Dog <laughs> by Kelly Link, um, which is more like fantasy, magic, horror, different kind of fairy tales retellings. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just interested to try that format and see how I like that. That might not be on the same level as like memoirs and nonfiction, but it's just a new format that I would like to try and see what I think about it. I would also like to explore um, prize nominees and prize winners going back in time, like maybe 20 years or something. Um, so not because of like the hype around the prizes that I see now. <laughs> Um, it never used to be like that, you know, before social media, I don't think. Um, I feel like that was a very, like, elite thing to worry about or, like, I don't know. <laughs> but now it's like, everybody's reading this prize winner and it's just, okay. Maybe people did used to do that, but I feel like it's a different kind of hype around prizes now. Um, but I haven't really read a lot of prize winners and I would just like to sort of find which prizes maybe align with my taste um, to see, you know, I just see it as a possible source for really good book recommendations, you know, and maybe also a bit of an intellectual challenge because I feel like I need to find like the right <laughs> intellectual level for me to read on. Um, too easy is boring and too difficult is like, I can't be bothered. Um, so yeah, I just want to find that, you know, sweet spot. So that's kind of like different genres to try, I guess. Um, another goal is to sort of expand my world view um, and understanding for other people, which I just always find interesting and like enjoyable. And I just, I think that's an obligation that we have as people and especially as people of privilege. I think it's just, you know, mandatory reading kind of, um, at least to like sprinkle it in somehow in your reading. You know, that might mean reading books from different parts of the world. It might be reading stories with themes of race or social justice or social issues, identity, you know, all those kinds of things that affect people's lives, basically, that are different from mine. Not that I'm not affected by those things, <laughs> I just mean, you know, different experiences or even similar experiences to mine, but just like explored in a interesting way. You know what I mean. I would also like to read more by and from and about indigenous peoples in any part of the world. One, I think it would benefit me. <laughs> I think that most indigenous peoples have a different sort of relationship to nature than we have in more, you know, consumerism focused societies. Um, and they tend to live more in harmony with nature. And I would like to sort of infuse myself with that kind of thinking and, you know, just see that perspective and I also want to just like educate myself about their experiences and their stories and you know just learn new things that I don't know already. <laughs> Another goal of mine is to improve how to talk about books and to sort of gain more knowledge about just the world of literature in general, um, just become a little bit more knowledgeable about you know what's going on and like what prices there are and um, you know different titles and authors through the ages and you know the big names or um, just like influences from past works into now and you know it's just that's just the whole world and I'm not super serious about it I'm not gonna get you know a degree in literature <laughs> anytime soon um, but that's just you know that's just Another thing that would be nice to learn a bit more about. The fourth main goal, like I mentioned, is to have fun with it and not put so much pressure on myself, um, which, you know, might sound contradictive to this whole list that I just talked through. 
um, but you know nothing about this is like a hard goal that I have to hit or you know there's no deadline um, it's more like my intentions with my reading and just something to you know be able to look back on and remind myself why I'm reading and what kind of books I want to read um, I, th I just think it's so easy to get caught up in you know the trends or the new releases or the challenges on booktube or you know numbers goals or whatever it might be I just want some record of what my intentions are with my reading um, to just like be able to sort of ground myself I guess I also want to find good recommendation sources so that might be prices like I mentioned or it might be booktubers that I can um, you know find and trust <laughs> that you know what they like I will probably like um, you know it's just a just a part of this whole you know getting back into reading and booktube experience I think um, to just uh, yeah I just want to see how to find books that I like and that I enjoy I also want to find my way back to enjoying reading and you know finding the peace to read because that's something that I've been struggling with for a long time just allowing myself that time to read for pleasure like for enjoyment I constantly feel the pressure to be productive and to accomplish things and get things done and I just don't think that that's always healthy and I know it's not healthy for me and it's not the way I want to live my life I just don't want to you know be on my deathbed and be like yeah well I was hella productive <laughs> like you know <laughs> to a certain extent that's that's you know good to be productive and get things done obviously but I don't want that to be my whole life and like my whole focus um, I also want to enjoy my time on this earth and reading good books is part of that and reading books that fill me with something with an enjoyable, an enjoyable experience and some knowledge and some new insights that help me grow as a person and I think we all are you know on the hunt for new favorite books new favorite authors new favorite genres maybe um, that's just um, a joy to find books that you really love and enjoy and that you want to you know talk to anyone <laughs> about um, and you know the feeling of reading a really good book is kind of unbeatable so you know no wonder we're all <laughs> searching for our next five star read you know um, yeah and I just I want that joy and that peace and that thrill of really good books and yeah I'm just wanna these intentions are just a way for me to find those gems I guess um, and have a really good time with reading <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so this was a very chatty video and I apparently had a lot to say <laughs> about all of my goals what are your thoughts on you know setting numbers goals um do you have any other kinds of goals that you're setting for your reading or do you just like read whatever and you know like you don't have to have goals with your reading um i've never had goals with my reading before i just read whatever book um i wanted and that's you know kind of like watching tv or something like i don't have a, a goal with my <laughs> tv watching and like if you're reading for pleasure and entertainment there's absolutely no reason to set goals like I still want that aspect of reading as well the entertainment and the enjoyment and the pleasure of it and the fun of it um, I just want to be a little bit intentional because I know that I enjoy learning new things and enjoy growing as a person and so I want to incorporate that in my reading somehow and uh, these are the ways that I found how to do that <laughs> So, you know, wish me luck um, <laughs> and um, yeah, please share your goals if you have any or if you don't um, and your thoughts about that and um, yeah, let's look back on this in a year from now and see how it went. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and being here. Um, I really do appreciate it. 
Um, I hope you're having a really good day and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.